What's up techies, I'm back with another video. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to create a Windows server, a Windows VPS from beginning to the end. And so you wonder why would you want a VPS? You can use it as a personal computer actually, you can use it uh, for development purposes, maybe as a U, UAT or production server. You can use it for marketing, you can use it for hosting your own website there are so many reasons why you could want a server and today there are so many providers of cloud services like microsoft azure there's aws there's alibaba cloud so there are so many places where you can choose to buy a vps from so how do you choose personally i choose based on price and based on location and the best or my recommended provider is hetzner check them out a bit of a disadvantage here, Hetzner only have two locations, which is Germany and France, no, Germany and Finland, sorry. And if that if location is doesn't really matter to you, you can definitely check them. Their prices are so cheap. If you go to cloud and then go to their prices here, you will see that for less than three euros, you can get a VPS and for 60 euros a month, you get a very, very powerful VPS. So without further much to do, we are going to log in. When you log in, you get a console like this. Here you create a project. Give your project a name. And within a project, that's where your VPS will reside. So you go inside your VPS and then you add your server. Simple as that. Here are the three locations I was talking about Helsinki in Finland and two in Germany that I can't pronounce. So then just choose the one you prefer. Then it's an, it will be Ubuntu for now, but I know we are creating a Windows one, but leave it for as Ubuntu for now. And then the type is between standard and dedicated. What's the difference? Dedicated, you don't share server resources, but in standard, you do share some server resources. And in standard, you have local and network. So what's the difference between local and network? If it's local, it means all your server resources are tied to a specific location. And if, if for example, an earthquake was to destroy that location, you would lose your server. But a network VPS, it means that the server resources are on the cloud or on a network. And if something happened to your location, they would simply switch off and switch it on on a different location as if nothing happened. So, but I will choose local anyway. And then I'll choose the CX31, which is my personal favorite. Very good specs. It's the medium one probably, but works really good. Then you'll give it a nice name. And then we just create. So now your server is creating. Once it has created, you log in. Right now, you can see the specs here, and then you can see the location here and other slight details on this dashboard here. So if you click on the console here, you will notice that this is a Linux Ubuntu server, but we want a Windows. So how do we make this a Windows server? You have to go to the ISO images, and then from the ISO images, you have to click and look for the Windows ISO image, which is on the last page. You have to mount it. It's mounting. Then you have to switch off your server. Then request your console. Then switch on your server again. Then go back to your console again and connect. Now it will start loading the files. This will take a bit of a minute and we shall resume when it finishes. It's finished or it's about to finish. Here we go. So here you have to choose depending on your keyboard layout I assume. If you choose United States and your keyboard is UK keyboard like your at sign and your quotes might be exchanged or swapped and you might have problems when you're putting in passwords so choose here depending on your keyboard layout so make the, sure the GUI is selected then I'll choose United Kingdom because my laptop keyboard is United Kingdom and click next 
and install to take a bit of a minute here as it loads perfect now here there are a few options you want to pick the standard desktop experience if you choose the standard one or the data center you won't have an interface so you will have to work on a command line and so that will be difficult so you want to take the desktop experience select that and click next then accept the microsoft terms and then choose advanced you notice that you don't have a hard disk here so how do you make sure that your hard disk appears now you have to pay attention here you have to go back to your heads on the console back to the iso images and you have to load the driver pack called virtual when you mount that then you have to go back to the console let's just fire it from here and then load driver browse it then you go to the virtual that you just mounted then go to VOC here and then 2K19 which represents Windows 2019 anyway and then click next so this is installing the drivers for the hard disk once it finishes you will have your hard disk and then you can be able to proceed let it just take a quick minute There you go and i recommend that you delete this because who knows because it's shared resources they might have been allocated to someone before so just delete them and recreate it it's safer that way maybe i'm wrong but i find it safer that way then again you have to go back to the hetzner console and you have to load your iso image again then go back to your console and install so now this is loading the files it will take about five to seven minutes to finish this depending on how fast your internet is and we will be back when this has finished and so now it's just about to finish installing the files um, it takes anywhere between maybe 7 to 15 minutes depending on some factors but so it's just about finish is getting the devices ready and you are about to finish creating your VPS It's still installing some files in the background, I guess. At this moment, you can go ahead and unmount the file you had mounted. Then you have to set an administrator password. Make sure you set a strong password because hackers are sniffing and scanning the network all the time and you don't want your VPS to be vulnerable. You have to put in the password you just set. and with that you're connected you have your vps now i will show you two quick things which you need to do before you can use it you will notice that your vps doesn't have network it doesn't have internet it's, you notice that it doesn't have internet so what you need to do is to go back to your hetzner console and load the driver pack again Then when you load the driver pack, then you need to come here 
to the windows to the start button right click on that then go to device manager then you have to look at the ethernet controller here right click on that and click update driver then browse my computer for this browse then scroll down to the yeah, driver pack again and choose the net kvm again choose the 2019 because you're using windows server 2019 in my experience even if you choose like 2016 it still works so i don't know what what effect it has so then install that click no you don't want to share with other network because remember this is a shared network and then with that notice now you have internet internet access then you need to configure this for remote access so come here and uh, remote desktop is disabled just allow this and as well you want to turn off the internet explorer security because it's very pissing i know that it keeps blocking downloads and stuff like that so turn that off and then with that your server is ready to go now this is not secure because it still can be vulnerable so if you want to know how you can secure the server you just created please watch my video on securing rdp sessions it will tell you how you can go ahead and secure your your server much more by doing things like changing the default port number and adding other users and making sure that the administrator cannot log in but only remote desktop users can log in so watch my other video to see how you can secure this server the last thing left here is to try and log in to your server now and see if it works by a remote desktop so just open the remote desktop and type in administrator and the password you set login click yes and behold you have your server right here so one thing that i would like to show you is that um, you need to activate it if you click here and right click on this pc you will notice that windows is not activated so you need to buy a key for it so i suggest just go on ebay and search for windows server 2019 standard key and then there are so many just get the cheapest you get it chances are it will work you should be able to get one for cheaply like four pounds or less than that and so just get one for like three pounds or something like that and when you get it come go back to your server and just activate it the key will be sent to you and then just come and change the product here paste it here and click next and it will activate your server and it will be ready to use so 